Yeah, we're out. Good? Yeah. Alright, first of all, I just want to say... Hala, Yahawa, Wa Yahawa Shah. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to the elect, question this word in Jerusalem City across the four corners of the earth. Okay? Um, you can hear from me, Amos 3 7. Or just like it. What's uh, I think it's Matthew, uh, where he talks to the lost two of the parable. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Matthew is, uh, 13. 13. Yeah, yeah. Matthew 13. Matthew, uh, Matthew. Oh, that was a mark. <laughs> it's my, it's no. different each book, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I went to Mark, but she didn't Okay. Uh, Matthew chapter 13, verse 9, it says, Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him. You know what? Even that first sentence is deep. Who has deep. ears yeah. uh, to hear, let him hear. Because don't, because logically, faith value, you see that scripture and you say that what? all have ears so that's what we all so everybody should, should hear. technically hear the truth yeah. but no not everybody actually hears just people that I always say there's a difference, difference between hearing someone and listening to someone mm -hmm. you know hearing is just is, is taking in uh, uh, voices or, or sounds through one ear out the other listening is applying action to what you actually hear yeah yeah 100% because when it's said you know who had ears to hear? It's talking about if you have understanding. Exactly. If you have understanding, understand this truth because exactly. not everyone has that. Because you, how how are you supposed to go about doing the Lord's work if you don't understand this truth? Yeah, exactly. You 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 end up erring. You end up going off. Yeah. And you might go off to your own destruction. Huh. Uh, it's likely from most other on mercy. That's right. Okay. That's right. And I got a beautiful piece of that. Okay, yeah. This is Isaiah six and nine, and he said, "Go and tell this people." Hear ye indeed, but understand not. See, hear ye indeed, and yeah. understand not. And yeah. it's true, because Israel, because this is really in the end of the day, the message is only for Israel. I can care less if the heathens don't hear us or hear us, because, because we're also out here to give judgment to the heathens, and Esau, and judgment to Israel, and knowledge to the elect. Right? So, really, when we're speaking, this thing only should be really resonating to Israel. But two thirds of Israel are are going to be uh, have already witnessed the apostles and the true men of the Lord preaching this truth. So, in other words, they've witnessed Yahweh Hashem El Shai speaking to them, but haven't heard anything. They don't listen. Yeah. Because guess what? Israel is is, um, is stubborn, man. They're hard headed. Israel, these, these, uh, Israelites are hard headed, especially the goddamn woman. Yeah. God. And he said, "Go and tell this people, hear you indeed, but understand not." And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Like what? See ye indeed, perceive not. You think we're out here on the highways and byways, and the Most High, and the uh, the Most High hasn't revealed anything to his uh, to to his servants? Like we'll be out here, but we've, we've never seen any videos on destruction of this kingdom or what's or no watch. Well, we never watch the news. No, and that's the thing because. All, everybody watches the news. Everybody watches TV. Everybody sees what's going on, uh, going on in the world. But they see it, but they don't perceive what it is. They don't know if these people get excited and camp around for a blood moon. You know what I'm saying? You guys camp around for a blood moon because you're in awe of it. Yet it, it, doesn't, it doesn't come uh, 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 every single time. Yeah. So you guys are more in awe of it uh, than you actually are of understanding it. Because in the scriptures, those those signs of blood, uh, those uh, red blood moons are signs of the end, the end of this kingdom, the end of the world, mm -hmm. which is Esau's kingdom. Yeah, man. Because you know, with people, you know, like when you know events like that happen, they take it as a cool, You know, you know. Yeah, you know, you know, kind of, you know, just like I heard, you know, like on the radio here in Saskatchewan, you know, like you know, it's been the driest. You know, June, where like you know we, where like you know we haven't had rain, you know, in 130 years, you know, and people will take that and actually think that oh, this is a record breaking, you know, this is so cool. They're in awe. You know what I mean? They don't understand that these different the things that are happening to the earth. How the why, like for instance, there's more crime nowadays than there ever was back in the ancient times. Yeah. More wickedness in today's in today's day than the ancient times. Why? There's more people living today 
than there is in the ancient time. Yeah. Reason being is because the spirits are being brought back for judgment. Yeah. Judgment of what? The great judgment, the ending, the ending of this kingdom, the so-called white man's kingdom, man. Yeah. That's right, man. You know? So that's why we out here because we see the signs. What's that scripture? Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, in the book of Matthew? Uh, no, not in Matthew. Paul, where he says, oh, yeah. "For knowing the terror of the Lord, oh, we, 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 we persuade many." Persuade many. Yeah, yeah, that's enough. You know what I'm saying? That because we understand. Some brothers have had visions, and visions when you dream, when you dream, they're they're clear cut, coded, and 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 detailed. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, so yeah, so brothers having de uh, uh, detailed dreams about the end, you know, best believe that's gonna convince, that's gonna, that's gonna compel you, compel us to come out here, man. Can we see the terror? You know, we see it. We, we see it, man, spiritually. As the bugs become, you know, we see it a little bit physically, man. It's manifesting physically. All right, it's just not, it's just not at its climax. So when the terror of the Lord is, hits, is, hits, uh, it's Hits his, uh, the climax, his climax, that's when everybody's gonna start feeling the pressure, man. All you heathens are gonna start feeling the pressure. Two thirds of you Israelites are gonna start feeling the pressure. Especially, Esau's especially gonna be feeling the pressure. It's gonna be all physical torment, man. Hey, and spiritual torment. Yeah. That's right, that's right. And I, you know, just going back to, uh, to the book of Matthew, it says, Matthew 13 and 9, who had ears to hear, to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Exactly. Because, like, for instance, when we're out here speaking, man, we'll say things like Jake, Israel, Edomite, you know? Yahawashai. Yahawashai, Yahawah, you know, we'll, 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 we'll be speaking Hebrew, saying different things in Hebrew, and and that's a parable onto people that the Most High hasn't chosen, man. The, pe the people that are not for the, or a stumbling block onto people that are not, that are not the elect. You know, only only an Israelite or only the only the elect are going to hear the names Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and they might not, then they won't know what it is, or they might not have never heard it before. But th that those names will will make them curious, coming up uh, enough for them to come up here and ask questions because they're of the elect. You see, so. At the end of the day, this truth really is only for the elect. Because even two thirds, because initially the law, statutes, and commandments are supposed to be for all of Israel. Because Israel's uh, Yahweh, um, yeah, the Yahweh's people, man. But two thirds of us are wicked, so only the elect can understand it, man. So that's why I like, like that, that, that old Edomite here, two time loser, he came by just before he turned on the camera and was saying, uh, you know, no one listens to you guys. Do you ever listen to yourself? No one. We don't care if no one listens to us, man. That just means that just means there's only two of uh, uh, there's only out of all the people in the provinces of Scotland, there's only two possible men. That are, there's only two men that the Lord found that that might be of the elect. Yeah. That have a possibility of being of the hopeful elect. Yeah. If anything, that's more special. That's cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> it just shows how much, like how 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 special this truth is. That only two men can be speaking the truth in, in one province. Yeah, you know, you know, and also like you know, with that dude making that statement, yeah, that means that he actually acknowledged he listened to us in order to make a statement like that. Well, so, to even yeah, to even get annoyed, you have to be listening, listening to us. Yeah, you know, you hear what we're saying and annoyed. Yeah, because at the end of the day, you know, it's it's not even about us, you know, um, you know, it's not about people hearing us. It's about the vibration that we're pushing them. Yeah, because. If, if, see, if, if any of you simple-minded Jakes would actually know the scriptures, you would see, yeah, yeah. You would see that uh, um, you, would, you would see that uh, Ezekiel was told to speak uh, from fire onto the wind. Because like the brother said, it's about vibration, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and it says, uh, and, the, and the disciples came and said unto him, Why speak this down to them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Who do you? Is it just the twelve disciples at the time? Out of all the people on the planet? No. It's the elect. The 144,000 that you read about in Revelation, the seventh chapter. 12,000 from 12,000 Israelite men from each tribe of Israel. Yeah. So, 
and it's only given to you to understand. So, again, this is another simple way, uh, this is another, uh, yeah, simple way to cut off that bullshit that the Lord loves everybody. It makes no sense to love everybody but to give, but to favor a sect and give them understanding and knowledge. Yeah. That's not love, you're showing favor. So your love is more towards those people than it is the other people. That's how that works. Right. Tell me that a child's not going to feel upset when you know you have it's you and your brother, and the one brother's getting everything he wants, and the other brother isn't. Yeah, it's, and the way they, they the way they show that is by saying, yeah, my parents don't love me as much. Yeah, exactly. It's the same. It's the same uh, um, analogy, man, with uh, with us, with Israel, and the rest of the world. Yeah, man, because you know what? Like at the end of the day, you know what? Like nobody likes rejection, right? So, you know, it's the same thing, man. You know what? Like, if the Lord actually loved everyone, why would they put him to death? That means, exactly. that, means that the Lord must have said something that pissed people off. Exactly. I got right? you. Right? Oh, oh, you sure, man? Y'all kiss you, man. Y'all boys. Keep, that, keep preaching that word. Yeah, hey, That's man. important. Man. Keep hey, preaching that word, man. Yeah, take care, man. The Lord be with you. Yourself. That's right, man. That's right, man. You know? See, like, that's a perfect example of saying only some people hear that. Yeah. Because he, because we've even balled with him and the other big guy yeah, once, yeah, you know. Yeah, so he already kind of already knows us. Yeah, he's seen his ball, but he sees us outside of ball. He's like, yo, this guy's a spiritual man. Yeah. They're doing something. Yeah. But he, he been walking up here. He walked up here three times. Yeah. And there's been at least more than two dozen people walking up in here, up and down here. Only one man actually understood what we were saying. Yeah. Again, it's not given to everybody, man. Yeah. You know, which is a special thing, man. You know, because you might say, because what they might say, oh, that's just. People can hear you, but they just want to come up and, to, uh, and talk about your bullshit. No, no, he understands this is the truth. Or else he wouldn't. No one's gonna like give you money and yeah. they think you're, if they acknowledge you and give you money if they think you're talking bullshit. Yeah. No, it's because the truth. Because it, it's actually the truth. He knows he's not giving money to something that's wasted. Yeah. Exactly, man. Because you know, again, man, you know what? That brother might get saved just for doing that, man. Because the that's Lord, the scriptures, bro. right? The Lord is looking for a. That's, that's the thing that people don't understand. People only, you know, people blow, you know, wherever there's a lot of uh, crowd, where there's a lot of people thinking that that's the right thing, man, you know? But, you know, the Lord is looking for a select few, man, you know? And that's it. And it says, He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. For whoso... Whoso, whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, for him it shall be taken away, even that which he hath. That's right. Um, you get, uh, what's the word? Uh, what Romans 12? We're talking about different gifts. Yeah, chapter 12, we're talking about Corinthians. We're talking about the different gifts, meat. Chewing on meat, drinking on milk. Uh, I think it's one of the small one. It's right from one. Oh, like about the body. No, it's air like mine. Yeah. That's a joke. I know. That's how can uh, you? How can you? Jemima, yeah, yeah, we yeah. know what you say. Yeah. I remember yeah. what you said. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, man, how can you not, how can you not say you're under a curse when your hair can't grow, man? It's nice. Yeah, that's right. I got, I got that uh, scripture, like about the... Yeah, different gifts. Like about the different gifts, man. This is the book of Romans, chapter 12. I'll start from verse 3. It says, For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. That's right. The reason why I bring this up because I was watching a video last night, and uh, I don't know what brother it was, but I think it was Apostle Bar. He posted on his yeah, it was on his page. But the brother was talking about take heed, take heed to what the apostles say. Yeah. And he was saying, he was saying because uh, there's been a like he's basically going into roughly like roughly paraphrasing that. Like a lot of brothers uh, uh, come up on a, they come into truth by the way of the apostles, come up on some kind of level, like a five, ten year level, and all of a sudden think that they can come up against the apostles. You know, against men that even when you were growing ten years, they were also growing ten years. It's not like time stopped yeah. for, for, for you. So you can catch up to the apostles. Yeah. 
know what I'm saying? So, no, so these guys, these 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 niggas don't even take that into account like that. But he was talking about how you guys come up against the apostles, and really, your own words tell on you because before you came against the apostles, you were actually in, you were uh, you engaged in this truth through the words of the apostles. So you actually understood what they were saying and believed what they were saying at one point. But now they, it's just like the dog returns to his vomit. Yeah. That's exactly what you two thirds are doing, man. Right? Returning to your vomit, which is the world. Yeah. The vomit is the world, man. Right? That's right. Because even though some of you might call yourself men of the Lord, breaks down the scriptures and say, in the name of uh, Yahweh Shai and Yahweh, but you're still going against the apostles, guess what? You're not in the truth. That's not because the part of the truth says to give double honors to the apostles. And he was talking about how some brothers get re get revelation of things, but even even when you do, that's still um, you still shouldn't be presumptuous and go blabbing like the flat earth thing. Yeah. That was literally a, uh, a, 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 a so-called man of the Lord thinking he got a revelation from the Lord. That was the spirit of Satan. Literally, that's all that was. That's why it says all things should be done in decency and order, man. It's okay to get revelations, but you gotta go to your apostles with that, man. And then let them let them have the final say on whether it's you know it's a, it's from the Lord or not. Cause like the brother said, that shit was from Satan. The Lord can send spirit at you, but you don't know which spirit it, which spirit it could be. Sometimes it, it could be like uh, it could be it, it could be Satan. Sometimes it could actually be Yahweh Shai. Who knows? That's why, man. You know, like before, just you know. You know, going off of your own heart. Exactly you know. why you can't go off your own heart. You yeah. Know? Your own heart is not going to understand what spirit is what on you. Exactly, man. You know, you got to seek the elders, man, because why? You most likely have come across that, man. Because well, you, hey, man, 30 you know years, I mean? 30, 30 plus years is not is going to give you the, the, the experience of all types of situations. Yeah, exactly. Everything that the young brothers will be going through. Yeah, you know, just imagine, man, you know, if, even if you're in this truth and you're in it for 10 years, you're still 10 years old when you actually think about it spiritually, man. Yeah, yeah because you're reborn. Be exactly, man, because you, you are not actually reborn. So, basically, if you came into the truth, you know, 2012, you know, and it's 2017, that means that you're only 5 years old, man. That's just what that means. You know, it doesn't mean anything else because you're actually reborn in the spirit, not physically, but in the spirit. Meaning that you have to literally wash everything that you have learned in the world and to then now you being in the truth, you're actually drinking that milk again and then you're going to, you know, eat that mashed potatoes yeah. and then eventually, you know, you work up in the state, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you got to have mashed in between the milk and the state. Yeah, you know, so, so, you know, just because you're in it for 10 years and you know a little bit, does not mean that now you're on a level to go against the apostles, man. Because the moment you got that demon in mean, you, gotta cast it out. And if you don't, you eventually will fall off because the apostles are the elders of Israel, man. You know, they're the men that Yahweh Bashan Shai sent forth to teach us this truth. They were back there with Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. Which is you know, which Heck, a lot of them, a lot of them were 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 uh, were were my age when I was still in the spiritual world. Yeah. In my in their twenties when I was in the spiritual world. Yeah. So, like, like to actually come up, come up against men that have that kind of authority over you, it has to be Satan, man. It has to be pride because all the logistics are there, all the all the facts are there. They have thirty plus years of experience. They, the Lord chose them before you. you everything you know is from them. Yeah. Why would you come up against a, a person or a man that has such authority over you? That, that, that on top of that, the Most High set up, and you've seen the Most High set him up. Yeah. You know, can we, hey man, if you guys, if, if, if you're spiritual, you can see that the Most High is dealing, the Most High, Yahweh is dealing with those men, the apostles of Israel, and the elders. Just, just with the revelations and the fact that you can, they can, they, to me, is that they've never been proven wrong. That's what, that's what struck me dead in the center is that no matter what or no matter how smart the scoffer was, you can't come against the truth because it's simply the truth. You can't, you can't do it. Yeah, you know, and every single statement that the apostles made, they backed it up with the scriptures. Which know? makes it even more powerful. Like, exactly, you know, like even with, with the whole rape thing. They broke it down too. Yo, know, if, 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 if they can go back into the scriptures and break it down, what else do you have to say against that, man? Because they're the men that taught you, so they obviously know more than you, right? 
But you know what? You got people who basically, you know, they want to take that leading role, not knowing how to carry the load, man. That's you know, right. they're just right. jumping into it, not knowing, you know, what it is, man. Right. And that's usually what happens when you fall off. That's right. right. Hey, you know what? Uh, uh, hold that, uh, and uh, please get me uh, Ciroc three and stuff from. Start from 18. Oh. Start from 15. Oh, so right. Whole chapter from <laughs> Just so right through in 15. Yeah, try to say something. This is, this is the book of Sarak, chapter 3. I'll start from verse 15. And in the day of an affliction, it shall be remembered. Thy sins also shall melt away as the ice in the fair warm weather. Show you that our affliction that we're feeling now. All the way to the end, going to the going into the chariots, the room of the elect. It's the purifying. Right? Yeah. It's like it's like it's, it's, it's like the Lord said. It's that it, our sins will be melted away like an ice, like ice is. Uh, you know. Verse, so we're actually being purged, being cleansed. Yeah, that's right. Verse sixteen. He that forsaketh his father is as a blasphemer, and he that angereth his mother is cursed from Yahweh Shai. My son. Go on with thy business in meekness. In meekness. So, so, so being humble. Man. Like the humble thing to do is when you like, 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 man, that was a beautiful video last time when the brother made that video because he said the best thing to do when you get a crazy dream and it's a revelation of something, the best thing to do is to go in, in meek, in humble, uh, uh, to go in humbleness and talk to the apostles man, yeah. about it. Cause they'll let you know, and that's that's being humble instead of being presumptuous and telling other brothers they can't. Well, this is what the Lord told me. See, 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 this, that, the third. Yeah. And if the apostles come up against it, you're like, no, you know what? Uh, the Lord's not dealing with you guys. He's dealing with me. Yeah. I know more than you guys. I've been in this thing for 15, 10 years. That's crazy. You know, that's that, that's 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 showing you they 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 actually they avoid understanding because they're still babes. That's why. That's why. Uh, I always, I always, always, uh, I always used to tell my little brother this when he used to mess up. He used, he used to be like, "Oh, I can go take care of, take care of it." I'll tell, I, I'll tell him, "You don't send a puppy to clean up his own mess." You know what I'm saying? That's the same thing. So with these guys, they'll, they'll, they're, they're, they're coming up. They think they're coming up on some, some kind of level. Ten years, and they want to talk and bash the apostles and the elders, come up against them, but. And 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 they'll, and and, and, they'll, and uh, uh, they'll get they'll get discarded and get destroyed. Even uh, everybody that's ever tried to come up against them has been put down. Sakari, all of them. But they're babes. That's why they slip up like that. That's why they let the pride get up again because they're still babes. That's right. That's right, bro. And he was saying he was saying that you know it's cool to hear the apostles break down something and be like you know I don't even I don't even see that and just stay in your lane. That just means the Lord. Was it uh, was it for you? Was it given to you? Yeah. And he set up for you to have. That's right. That's right. And it says, "My son, go on with thy business in meekness. So shall thou be beloved of him that is approved. The greater thou art, the more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor before the Lord." That's right, man. That's why. The strong ones and the quiet ones. You don't need like people. People who run their mouths too much are most likely women in the spirit, anyways. Because they have to run their mouths. They have to bark at you, but they won't bite. You know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like their mouth is their defense. Yeah. Exactly. But then that's it. After that, it doesn't go any further. See, right? strong, strong, smart, and strong-minded people, strong men, will will we'll just be quiet. They don't need to say much. They will use their brain. Exactly. No, not, not wasting no bad energy, man. And the scriptures tell you that. Get straight to the point, man. Yeah, that's right. And it says, Many are in high places and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. For the power of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim is great, and He is honored of the lowly. That's why this, this, whole, this, whole, this whole thing of ours, the truth, it confuses the masses in two thirds in two thirds of Israel because they look at the men, they, they hear the wisdom and they're like, you know, this is pretty good. You, you we always come across a lot of people that tell us this is pretty serious stuff that you're talking about over here. 
it seems like you guys really know your Bible, this, that, and the third, but they're always confused at the people that are speaking it. Yeah, exactly. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how you know this truth is, is, has, uh, has uh, uh, or the Lord is unique. Because the Lord was already dealing with scholars and renowned, and renowned professors to bring this truth out. It really wouldn't be that special because we're like, well, well, that's what they're known to do. And they suspect you're from, you know, you've been doing this for what, 20 plus years? Yeah, exactly. That's why, you know, again, man. But guys like us, yeah. like so-called, like, like, children, niggas, yeah. you know, low lives, yeah. are the ones speaking the truth. That's right, because the Lord's gonna, the Lord wants His honor and His glory, man. So the Lord will show His powers by using the meek, the lowly, you know, the people that are faint, man. Right. Okay, the Lord's not gonna use someone, you know, Respected in this world, you know, like the Lord's not gonna have Jay Z come out here and do his work when he got millions of people, you know, hearing him. Yeah. The Lord's not gonna do that. Why? Because it would be expected. People respect yeah, that he's dude already, because yeah, he, he's already on a high level. Exactly. So the Lord's gonna use so high level. yeah. So the Lord's gonna use the men, you know, that are weak, that people spit on, just like Yahweh was. And then later on, that glory will look even more better, man. Because then when we get delivered, people are really gonna, you know, they're gonna come across all of the shit that they've done to their black man, you know? Well, we might read that later. The Spirit falls on us in that, uh, it's the song, it tells you that in the fifth chapter. Khan, yeah, that would be sad, yeah. It says, for the power of the Lord is great and he is honored of the lowly. That's right. Because the lowly are the ones who, who are in need, man. They need something, man. You know, they need something, you know, right? They need to have a shot, you know. They need something, you know, in order for them to keep going, right? The people that are not lowly, what the fuck do they need help for, man? Yeah, they're already in, they, they're already in their heaven, man. Yeah. It's as simple as that. You don't need saving if you're already in your heaven, man. If you're already doing good, what do you need to be saved? What do you need to be saved from? That's right. That's why the, the lowly, they honor the Lord, man. They respect the Lord. That's why the poor, they believe that there's a power more than the people that are, you know, are that, rich. that are rich and that have all the substance in the world. Of course they're not going to believe in God because they think themselves as their own God. Yeah, because, you know, they get that honor to themselves. They think that they did it themselves. Because, yeah, because they can go out anywhere and buy yeah. whatever they want. They can be yeah. with whatever woman they want. They can yeah. do whatever they want. Yeah. But, it's, but, that shows you the difference between carnal minded and spiritual minded, man. Yeah. Not knowing where that power came from and who gave you it. Yeah. Exactly. Because that's that's the downfall of these Edomites, I'll tell you that. That all this power, all this all this power, wealth, fame and fortune that these uh, all this wealth, fame and fortune that these Edomites have acquired over the past couple hundred years, and now they're sitting on top of it all. They didn't understand that that was all through the Most High, man. It's given. It's all through the Most High, but their pride, so their pride is what makes them foolish, and therefore it's going to be their downfall. That's right. It's going to be a heavy downfall, seeing that the scriptures talk about slavery for a thousand years, then burning all you guys up. That's right, man. You know, like all the, you know, all the riches of the earth, all the fatness, it was given, not earned, man. Exactly. It was given to the white man. It was That's not right. earned. Why going back to Abraham, you know, given that blessing, or Isaac, you know? Yeah, yeah, but Isaac, given that blessing to Esau. Yeah, exactly. That was Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai gave that to Esau. Uh, yeah, he said, make it yo, when you think about it, the Lord is fair. Mm -hmm. He actually let the devil rule. Mm -hmm. right? He had his small time, because he right? said, his rulership was uh, uh, but a little time, yeah. and, but a little time, but moment, yeah, man. but for a moment, because yeah. it really is but for a moment, man. Yeah. If you do the math, and you say, okay, a thousand years to us is one day to the Lord. So and Esau, yeah, Esau's been ruling for like 500 plus years, yeah. half a day. Yeah. That's what the Lord sees in that. He's like, hey, yeah. yo, chill, you're good. <laughs> yeah. He's not ruling forever. Yeah, you know, is this kind of like, you know, how like, you know, um, like if someone... Like, and you, you don't know, slack it no, 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 And you don't see something like that, yeah. like how we just broke it down, yeah. is being spiritual because we extrapolated all the emotion out of it. Yeah. Being like, oh man, I don't want to be here for any more longer. Oh my God, I had a shitty day at work, blah, blah, blah. The third, the scriptures say, though it tarry, wait for it. Yeah. Because even though we might think it needs to come right now, the second, it's all in due time according to how much you're going to shine. We have to play out the script. Right. right. Literally have to cut the script, otherwise it won't happen, right? And it says, Seek not the things that are too hard for thee, 
neither search the things that are above thy strength. And that's my point right there, man. Seek not the things that are too hard for thee, neither uh, search for things that are above thy strength. Right, yeah. Because there are things in the scriptures, believe it or not, I, I put air quotes because some of you guys don't actually believe there's nothing in here that you can't break down. Yeah. Okay, you're too prideful. Don't get me wrong, the scriptures do say you are to know all things. You're, you're, it's an auction given unto you. Yeah. But, well, if you, exactly, exactly. So if you stay in your lane and stick to what you know, you'll never fail, yeah. especially if you're sincere. You'll never fail. The Lord will give you what you need to know according to when and where you are in your lifetime. It's that simple. That's right, man. You know? Because, you know, like even with the apostles and the elders, you know, as the years go by, the Lord is revealing more and more, little, and more, more stuff to them. Hence, yo, hence the hair, the, 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 <laughs> the, yeah, the hair is getting grayer, yeah, man. Yeah, that's so right. you see, you, every year you see less, less, more. Let's, let's on their head. Yeah, you know, and when the Lord does that, then they reveal it to us, man. And then it makes sense. You know, everything the apostles said, man. everything that the apostles say and have said, it all makes sense. It just, it, it, it just fits to a T with the scriptures, you know. But you, but you got people who, you know, who dig, you know, and they make up shit. Just because, you know, they don't like, you know, what the pops are doing or, you know, how the pops is Well, eat, hey, or, you simp. know, yeah. they're simp. Yeah. They're simp. What that, the pops of the call them simp. Yeah. Because they're emotional, man. Yeah. You know, because they're jealous of the seed that the Lord put the pops on. Hey, man, at the end of the day, we're all fighting for that one penny. Right? That's you it. Know? That's it. You know, not, not saying that, you know, that, you know, us and the pastor are going to be on the same level in the kingdom. No, but we're saying that we're all trying to get to the kingdom, man. You know, although in the kingdom, the elect are not all going to be on the exact same level, man. You, you're going to have, you know, some of the elect who will have more things than the other. Well, look at, others. you know, like, 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 you know, this might be a bad example, but it, it illustrates what I'm talking about. Look at Jay-Z. He's worth half a freaking billion dollars. You know he's good for his life. His children's life, his children's children's life for a long time. Yeah. But on top of him, you have men who are in the billion dollar club. Yeah. Okay, and then you got men that are in the ten billion dollar club. Then you go all the way up the chain to the food chain, and you got the Rothschilds. Yeah. It's like the apostles. Yeah. But on the righteous side, man. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like on the righteous side. And way more smarter and everything. Better. Yeah. But you know, to paint the illustration, that's what it's like. It makes sense. But Jay Z is still smiling. Because yeah. he's still got 500 mil. That's the same thing with the truth, man. I might get one talent. One talent is one talent. Somebody might get 10 talents. But at least I have one. You know, that's all. That's all. But that, you know, these, these, these words, this wisdom, it takes. Uh, uh, you can't be prideful. You can't be uh, prideful and under, and have these kind of thoughts going through your head. It yeah. won't work. It won't happen. Yeah. If you're prideful, you're thinking more of why aren't you on top? You're being selfish. Yeah. Actually, the, the the guy yesterday had a good point. What he said is that um, to to he said it, he said it's the most selfish thing ever to do to watch the apostles who you know are telling the truth here in the truth and they break down something. And they, and they explain it, and because just because you don't understand it, all of a sudden it's wrong. Yeah, that's actually selfish. Yeah, to think that all from from the beginning you've been understanding everything, and now you come across one thing you don't understand, yeah. it's all wrong. Yeah, yo, that's that's yo, actually that's prideful, man. That is crazy. That's thinking that's thinking that oh, I'm on such a high level that I should everything should make sense to me. Yeah, that's literally what you're, if you're even if you're not saying those words, that is the nature of your thought. Yeah. Is that I should know everything. I should understand. There's nothing the apostles should see it say I should understand. Or else it's all wrong. Yes. Because honestly, man, you got a lot of women who think like that, man. If it doesn't make sense to them, then you are wrong. Literally, every fucking time, if it does not make sense to them, the statement that you make or the way that you move or, you know, the things the that, you know, in. the tone that you speak, if it doesn't make sense to them, you're wrong. And they will find out you know exactly how to say it man you know that's that's the exact same thing man you know 
you being, you know, you being proud and the truth, and then, you know, right, and then, you know what, when you hear the apostles make a statement or when they say something, just because you don't understand it, yo, hold back on it, man. Maybe the Lord, maybe the Lord doesn't want to give it to you right there and then. Just because you don't understand it right there and then does not mean that what the fathers are saying are wrong because you got, you know, maybe, you know, like a thousand other Akims, you know, who understand it. get it. Yo, so something's wrong with you. Yeah, 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 Yo, so something's wrong with you then. Because if you don't get it, but the other men get it, yo, you better pray, man. Or just be like, you know what, maybe you don't give it to me That's what the brother said. He said, sometimes you need to fast to get it. Yeah. Sometimes the Lord will make you fast to get it or pray, or maybe it's just not the right time. Yeah. You know, but it was revealed unto you. You know, right there and then, maybe it's it's a sign the Lord told you, hey, if you want this, pray for it or fast for it, exactly. man. You never know. you got to get spiritual, man. Just because you don't understand something does not mean that the next man is wrong. Actually, you know what? Be like, you know what? I don't understand it. And then just move on, you know? Exactly. And then later on, that light bulb, you know. Well, it happened it, to him. He said he had a dream. He said he has a witness within the camp. He had a dream. Yeah. And it was a revelation. And he explained it to the brother in the camp. And literally, he's like, he's there, he said he's never seen the apostles speak about what he had a dream on, but that doesn't mean they never spoke on it before. Because yeah. he was saying the apostles have archives. Yeah. They have videos that go back before I was even on the scene, like on the earth. Thousands you know what I'm saying? Thousands. Like I said, they were in this truth when I was in the spiritual world. So there's going to be tons of videos that they that I haven't seen that they were speaking. They probably are even lost. Yeah. How can yeah. you find those kind of videos? You yeah. know what I'm saying? 100%. So you were saying that, and then, uh, uh, what was I getting to? I was saying that you were saying, what was I talking about again? Talk about the Talk about the dream and how that oh, right. Yeah. Because yeah. he had the dream, revealed it to the brother that's in the camp with him, so that brother's his witness, and literally, he said, no joke, no word of a lie, but the, the, the next morning, Apostle Ramlock was doing a video on exactly what he just had to dream about. So it was just revealed. But if he would have been presumptuous, and that that day, that night, he had a dream, tried to talk to everybody, tell him, listen what the Lord told me. Yeah. But he waited, sat on it, kept it quiet, was to himself. Maybe he told one brother, yeah. kept it between the two. And the next day, the most high was, uh, had Apostle Ramlock break, breaking down uh, exactly what he had in his dream. Yeah, man, because even with some people, you know, like, when they begin to get proud, you know, they actually, you know, even get more proud, you know, not willing to turn back and say I was wrong, you yeah, know? Yeah. Well, that's, right? that's the thing with pride. The farther you go with it, the harder you, it is you to turn back. It is to turn back, It right? hurts, bro. It does hurt back to say, I'm, okay, my bad. Exactly, you know? man. It really does, because that's why you have to be a man and cut that shit right in the beginning. Right in the beginning before you keep going on, because because that's the thing, right? It's like, you know, like, once you start talking shit, and then you realize, oh shit, I was wrong, but you've talked shit for like, you know, 10, years. you know, 10 years or so on and on, yo, it's gonna be so hard for you to be like, you know what's the lock man, everyone, you know, you have a shit that needs to forgive me. Yo, yeah. it's a life or death situation, but people will most likely stick to the death side yeah, of exactly. it, man, because they're so fucking proud. Not prideful than, you know, uh, live humble. Yeah. That's crazy, man. That's Esau, bro, because oh, he said Esau yeah. won't find the repentance, yeah. even in that time, in the, in the time of his uh, 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 slavery. Yeah. So because he's because Esau's he, he's went back a couple hundred thousand. If you go all the way back to heck, you go all the way back to uh, 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 Adam and Eve, even thousands of years of always talking shit and thinking that he knows more. Yeah. You know. When, when all of those years accumulate to now, and he's told, yeah, and he's finally, he finally he's been wrong the whole time, these devils won't find place. They won't say something to you, man. No. That's why these, these, these so-called white people are not the devils, man. Yeah. They are just devils. That's it. Yeah, you know? Like, even, you know, like in, uh, like in movies, you know, the bad guy. But some yeah. of them could be Jake's. Don't yeah. Don't get me wrong. Some of you so-called white people, that you, some of you so-called white brothers that might be listening to us, some of you guys... If you listen to us, you're most likely a Jake, man. Yeah. You know, this thing's not for Esau. That's right, man. You know, just like, you know, even with that example, you know, even like in movies, man, you know, like you got the bad guy, you know, at the end of the movie, you know, he's about to, he's about to be put to death just because, you know, he's so wicked, you know, and he's so prideful, he would rather die in his prideness rather than repenting and be like, man, my bad. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? And fall in order. Yeah. In and place. that's it. But they would rather die in their wickedness than actually seek righteousness. Man. That's, That's the it. same thing with these people, man. They would rather actually continue knowing that what they're doing is wicked just because they've done it for so long and it's hard for them to turn back. Yo, there's no sin, you know, 
you know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm, uh, you know, there's no sin, you know, there's no sin that cannot be forgiven except, you know, yeah, um, the, 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 the blasphemy, blasphemy of the Lord's name, right? Yeah. Yeah. And even that, because I remember Apostle, Apostle Tahar was talking about that, you should never be forgiven forever. Like that word, it means a long time. A long time, yeah. So, you know, it does feel like forever, but it's just a long time. Yeah. Because it also, it's the same thing about two-thirds of Israel being ashamed for, uh, for for everlasting shame. So, in other words, forever. Yeah. But they're still part of Israel, and at that time, they will be in the right mind. So, eventually, after, over you know, time, it's over gonna time, die off. they're going to die off, and they're just going to be righteous, and they're going to deserve... It's going to be more deserving than a shame. Yeah, you no, know, it's it's it's. The same. Well, it's a long it, time. It is a long yeah. time, right? You know, it's the exact same example. You know, is if you did something that your parents, you know, did not approve of. Exactly. You know, like when you see your when you see your parents, your mom or dad, you know, you're gonna be, you know, like, you know, like, you know, like when you see them, you know, you're gonna have your head down. But does that mean that you're gonna have your head down for the rest of your life? No. Exactly. It's just that you know, over time, you know, what you're gonna gain the respect from them again, and then. Everything you're yeah, right, you know? because two thirds of Israel, you guys are gonna come back in the right mind. Don't think you're gonna come back in the kingdom with the same mindset you had in, yeah, in, yeah. in, 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 in on the world. Yeah. In the world, no. That's you're right. gonna come back in the right mind. The laws are also gonna be put in you in your inward yeah. parts. That's right. That's right. Uh, that was the point that you asked. Oh yeah, that's the point. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, you okay. that. yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. I was reading on my Romans here. Oh, okay, okay. Hold that. Okay. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, just like the Bible was saying, man, you know, like about being proud, you know, like the scriptures tells you, you know, you gotta fall in order, man, you know, and then I'm just gonna continue reading on here, so Rock 3 verse 22, but what is commanded, do you think thereupon with reverence, for it is not needful for thee to see with thine eyes the things that are in secret. That's right, man. So it tells you to stay in order, man. It's not needful for you to see the things that are in secret. Why? Because it's in secret, you know? There's some things that the Lord will only reveal to the apostles and not the rest. Why? I don't know who asked the Lord, man. You know what I mean? The Lord does things like that. He wants to show the order, man, you know? The Lord's not gonna show us, you know, some spiritual things and then have us, you know, come out here and give it to Esau. Why? Because Esau is beneath us, man. You know? And it says, Be not curious in unnecessary matters, for more things are showed unto thee than men understand. So even though you have enough, yeah, you know? we're gonna have one talent, but you're not in the world. Look at the guy who's in the world and yeah. see what he has. That's right. You know? yeah. So even the very lowest of the lowest Israelite in the kingdom yeah. has is, 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 more. is more than anybody than anybody else in, in the world. Yeah, that's right. It says, "Be not curious in us in unnecessary matters." So like it. Be not curious in unnecessary matters, for more things are showed unto thee than men understand. So there's more things that are showed to us than what the people out here think that they have knowledge of, man. You know, just us knowing that Yahweh Shai. You know, or just us knowing the name of Yahweh Shai and that he is a so-called dark skin man. If you ask Donald Trump, you know, what does the Lord look like, he's obviously going to tell you a so-called white man. That means that we have more of the sign than he does. Right. Literally, right. man, because everything goes back to the like this stuff. Yeah, Yo, everything goes back to the scriptures, man. You know, people that are respected in this world, they don't know the truth like we do. So therefore, if we have any question or if we have any understanding or, or you know, if we just know something that's very small about this truth, meaning that we actually know more than the people out here. Yeah, man. just being the truth, just being in the truth, you're already better than everybody else. That's outside of the truth. Yeah, that's literally what that's it means. That's so simple. Man. You know, that's literally what it means. And, and, and you might say it's very arrogant to say that, but it's it's the truth because we are given because here is here's one side. Everybody, everybody that's in the truth, the elect, and then you're the you're the least of the elect, yeah. and then you have the highest that's in of the world. Yeah. If you don't have the truth, really, what power does it really have? Because if because true power is wisdom, and true wisdom is the truth. Nothing else beats the truth. That's why truth is wisdom. Yeah, you know that's why they they have that same rule. You know, being being uh, the worst of the best, or being 
know, the best and the worst. You yeah. know? Like in this example, you yeah, know what? Yeah, 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 right? yeah, yeah. Like in this example, like you know, I mean, we would be the worst or the best because we're Israelites and you know what? We're in this truth. Yeah, you know? we're on a low level. We're like four or three years in. Exactly. You know, right. we're just starting at the bottom. But you got people who are the best of the worst, meaning yeah, yeah. that, you know, everything that they fucking do is wicked. But they're the best at it, yeah, well, yeah. meaning that people actually exalt them for that, man. So you know what? You know, so you know what? I would rather be the worst of the best than the best of the worst, man. Because you know what? That means that there's growth. You know, there's room to grow, man. You know, there's always wisdom and also understanding for the lowly, man. You know. Uh, and then, uh, and it says, for many are deceived by their own vain opinion. And an evil suspicion have overthrown their judgment. That's right, and you can tell when a man is going off his own vain opinion because he won't he won't break anything that he's saying down yeah. according to the scriptures. Yeah. He'll speak it. He'll go on an hour rant about it, yeah. and then you'll ask, okay, now tell me what that says in the Bible, and he'll come up with any any and every excuse in the book to beat around going through the Bible yeah. and finding the scriptures because. What they're saying is bullshit, man. 99.9% of the time, because what they're saying is bullshit. Because even us, even when we're in, 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 in a, or like, even when we're asked questions, and we don't know the exact scripture, well, we can still find it because we know how it's phrased. Because yeah. we've actually went through it, and we've actually went and found it, and we actually read it before. Yeah. So we still understand how it's phrased. And with today's technology, man, technology, man all you gotta do is type in one word. That's, That's it, it. and then you got scriptures about that one word. That's right, man. You know, and then it's the same thing, you know, if you don't know something, we won't speak on it. Hey man, that's, uh, that's being humble. It's just as simple as that. You know, saying, you know what, I don't really know too much about that, you know, but I'm gonna go and actually study it. Yeah. And then you come back and you give them the answer. Yeah. But, you know, don't just speak on shit just because you think that you should know everything, man. You know? Yes, we are to know everything, but it comes over time. It doesn't mean that the moment you're born, there you go, bam, you got all the words and the of the world. No. As you grow, you learn, man. Yeah, that doesn't happen when you come to truth. You don't know everything. Yeah. Man, when I first came to truth, I didn't know Cornelius was an Israelite. That was just a thing that, that yeah. we, it was already broken down way before we were even on this planet. Yeah, but, but we, we just, yeah, exactly, you know? Yeah. There's so many things I didn't know about, like the Sabbath. I didn't know how that worked one bit yeah. while I was in the truth. Yeah. And then, and then Lord will reveal it to you little Over time, little. and now we can explain it, we know exactly how them works. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. That's right, you know, um, that was... That was in that, 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 yeah. Okay, can you get, uh, yeah, first three, please, the second chapter. Come on, first one, please. Yeah. Yeah, chapter two, verse one. Yeah, two more. Come on. First Corinthians, chapter... Three, 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 three. Come on. First Corinthians, chapter two, verse one. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom. That's right, man, man, out here, when we're on the streets, man, we get it, we, we cut straight to the point, you know, and, and, and we make it, and we make it, uh, uh, and we come out here uh, boldly, man. Yeah. Nothing's flavored, all right? We might, we might mock and laugh a little bit, but that's, that's within the circle of understanding. Yeah. You know, when people ask this question, we get straight to the point, and we, and, and, and we, uh, and we uh, break down scriptures and prove it, man. But these pastors, man, like I told you about that one church I used to go to, I would go to church at 9, 8, 9, 8 o'clock in, in the morning and get home by like 3.30, 4 o'clock. You wouldn't want this damn thing. And then they would ask you, they would have the nerve to ask you to come back at 5, 5.30 for a service till 10 p.m. Damn. That's to so listen to crazy. even more nonsense that doesn't, doesn't resonate to you. Right. But when you're out here, when, we're, when you come up to the man of the Lord, starting with the apostles on down, man, yeah. you're getting edified, man. Get to the point. Let's believe you're going to get edified. If you're sincere and, you up, and you're up the whole full elect, you're going to get edified. If you're not, you're still going to get edified, but you're just not going to agree to what we say. That's exactly. Because what we say is not according to how we feel, it's according to what the scripture says. Or, if, is, or right? like, like, for instance, the, 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 the value of how much truth we're speaking. Yeah. It's not based on how you feel about what we say. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's, you know, people think that if they don't like what we, if a big crowd comes up to us, or if we're out here and no one comes up to us, yeah, you must be talking shit. That's not what that means. You can't go off of that. Yeah. You gotta actually come here and listen for yourself. That's right, I can, you know. And it says, you know, that basically, you know, I came to you, um, 
when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, you know, like when we out here, when we speak, we speak in plain, man. We speak in words that you can understand, man. You know, for example, you know, if we're reading, you know, and the name, it says, you know, Jesus Christ, you know, we're not going to say Yahweh when we have someone who doesn't know what Yahweh yeah, you we, know, like, Yahweh is. Uh, honestly, we right? slowly break you into it. We we'll do. Read, the brother will read it verbatim. We'll read it verbatim. We'll say, exactly. We'll say God, and then, yeah. we'll, then, we'll start, and then we might be speaking. We'll break it down and say Yahweh yeah. is that. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Then, yeah, you know, like or the, brother, or the guy might ask a question, but you already say your house. What does that mean? Yeah, you know, your house is who the world knows Jesus Christ. You know, we go into it anyways. We yeah. have the signs out here. Exactly. Really, because they ask about the signs, right? They always say, well, who's yeah. this guy? Who's that guy? That guy? Yeah. And that's how it starts. Exactly, you know. So basically, you know, we break this thing down for you, you know, so then later on, you can't say, oh, you know, they never, you know, gave me yeah, never. exactly that, you know, they, they, they can't understand Yeah, they never what explained to me the, uh, yeah. the, the, what I'm looking for. The, yeah, completely. Because I was told that, too. That, you know, when I was first in the truth trying to explain to certain friends that I didn't I need explain properly. properly. I was like, okay, well, I know I, I know more now. It's been like two, three years. Yeah. Ask me now. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> just talking shit, man. You're just blowing smoke. That's all you're doing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And it says, and I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of Yahweh Bashar and Yahweh Shai. For I, de for I determined not to know anything among you save Yahweh Shamashiach and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech. And my preaching was not with enticing wor words of man's wisdom. Now that's why we get. That's why we hurt people's feelings. Can we say raw things? Yeah. Like we'll, we'll we will call so-called black woman a devil, a demon. You know. Yeah. We will call her. We will call uh, uh, the so-called white people the devil. We will call a whore. We call. We will call a woman that sleeps around with fucking uh, men a whore. We'll say these things because it's it's, it's what it is. It's the truth. It's the truth. You know, That's what it is, man. You can't say anything other, other, uh, otherwise. Yeah, yo, at the end of the day, if you're a female, you know, and we call you a hoe, and it hurts you, that means that you are a hoe. Exactly. Because, you know, it should not affect you if it doesn't pertain to you. Yeah, hey, man, that's how they do it in law. Yeah. It's, they always say, they always say the innocent ones don't run. Yeah, yo. Because they're innocent. It's, it's the same thing, you know, if a so-called white person comes here, you know, and causes niggas, I'm not gonna get mad because I know I'm not a nigga. It's the it. same thing, bro. You know, that's why we don't get upset. That's why when you got white people who come out here, you know, and they call us names, you know, and they don't see us actually fighting them or do anything, they even get more pissed off because that shit does not affect us, man. You can call us names, you know, whatever the fuck it is that you want to call us, it's not gonna affect us because we know who we are, man. You know, according, yeah, to, this, exactly. according to the scriptures, man. Again can't come against the truth. We know we have the truth. Yeah. So whatever you say, it's just like, it's, we just laugh at you. It's vain, man. You know? And it says, And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of the power. So, you know, yeah, we, we don't have the, you know, a lot, a lot of us are the, not a lot of us are the most or the best eloquent speakers. But, when we speak, we break down the truth. And you can also see in our everyday lives that we mean, we mean what we say, man. We're above what we talk about, man. Yeah. We're above what we do, what we say. Yeah. Because, hey, okay, man, we're out here both in summer when everybody's out here and in winter when no one's out here. Yeah. Minus 40, minus 50. We've been out here minus 50 before, man. Yeah. I, actually, I don't think in all the winters we've been, there's never been one winter where we actually didn't go out. We're like, you know, it's too cold, let's do it, and stay in home. I've come close, but we never actually actually went inside, man. Yeah, because because, we, because it's, we mean what we say, man. This is true. Yeah, because you know, at the end of the day, you know, we've, we've, we have already experienced it when it was fucking freezing out here, man. So it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything, you know, it right? You know what I mean? Yeah, you're used to it now. Yeah. Standing out in the winter for an hour, hour and a half, Minus 40, you're used to it. You get your car, oh yeah, you're frostbite, yeah, yeah, we won. <laughs> it's the same old thing. Yeah. So, you know, that's us on a four-year level. 
What do you think your scoff? What do you think you scoffers? What kind of damage you scoffers are doing to men in 10 plus, 15 plus, 25 plus? If that's us on a three to four year level, you're talking about men at 30 years level. That's why they don't, they don't even they probably don't even know about you. You're like a speck on a huge movie screen. No one's gonna see that. You know what I'm saying? That's why the Apostle Tamari get when he says. Yeah, don't don't even uh, don't even debate with these guys yeah. because all all is, it's gonna amount to nothing at the end of the day. That's right. Because right. what they what they want to do is just get money and get and get and get the followers up. Yeah. For entertainment. Yeah, because you know like you know that's the scoffers that have sold good. But then you also have scoffers who have the time to actually go on the internet and talk shit because they're jealous because they see what they could be doing, man. You know they're actually jealous because they know that this is what I'm supposed to be doing, but because I fell off, now I'm, you yeah. know, now you know what, like, you know, yeah, I want to come against it. God, every time they see us, the men of the Lord, yeah. they, they're reminded of failures. Of, of what they're supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Man, that would grieve anybody. Man. Yeah. That's Except good. Yeah. <laughs> good, good, good. It says verse 5, that your spirit should not stand in the wisdom of man, but in the power of your Abba Shemel Shai, how be it we speak wisdom, among them that are perfect. Among them, oh, 100%. That's it, man. Read that again. Uh, verse 6 How be it, we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world. That's that why, man, when we speak about certain things, certain people look at us like we have 10 heads, man. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? Uh, 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 spiritual powers. Yeah. One like, 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 yeah, you know, like, I was talking to Habib the other day and he was saying, he's like, man, there's no way you're going to be able to manage a thousand women. I was like, what? No, I can't. He was like, man, I was like, he's like, where are they going to live? I was like, they all have their own home. Like, how are you gonna get that rich? It's like in the kingdom you can get anything. He's like, oh, you're talking about the kingdom. I was like, yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah okay, I'll say you meant in this kingdom. I was like, no, he's like, hell no. You know, but it's true. The certain things that we are, uh, we get inspired about, and, we, and, and our, and our, um, our, motiv our, our motivation, aspirations, and ambitions are towards spiritual things, man. Yeah. And we know that we can't keep any, nothing flesh, nothing carnally comes with you in the, in, into the new kingdom. Yeah, that's right. Even the, even, even the air we breathe is spiritual in the new kingdom. Yeah. You know, everything we, uh, we eat, everything from what we eat and drink, see it will be spiritual man. That's right. You know, because things are actually gonna be alive in the kingdom, man. You're not gonna have any, you know, dead trees yeah, or none, like, like none you're not of gonna, that shit. Yeah, bro. exactly. None of that shit, man. There's gonna be so much life in the air. Yeah. But you know, on and on top of that, we're gonna have spiritual powers to keep you guys in check. Yeah. Because a lot of you guys okay, all of you guys will be trying to uh, 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 rebel. Yeah. You will rebel, especially Esau man. Yeah, you know, like, you know, in this kingdom, you know, Esau, you know, cuts down a lot of trees, which, you know, trees actually, you know, gives you, uh, you know, um, uh, you, know, you know, lungs, you know, and, you know, um, oxygen, and so on, you know, they say that Esau actually cut down so much tree that, you know, it actually compared to the size of animal, man, which is crazy, man, like, how the fuck you cut so goddamn many trees like that, man? Hey, but, but hey, that's script again, that's scriptural, you want to get that real quick, actually? Yeah. And, um... Uh, Matthew's 24 and Surfing 21. Uh, Matthew 24. Yeah, Surfing 20. That's it, man. That's that's the nature of these so-called white people. These Edomites, they, they, don't, they, they, don't, they don't know no balance. Everything with them is complete that's death, man. It's just completely done out. That red dragon that represents death. Right? Exactly. That's it. Matthew 24, verse 20. But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, That's no. Right, man. The, end of the, the end of this kingdom is going to be the most biggest and, and flashiest, flashiest show that's ever been uh, uh, put on this part of earth, that's ever been seen. Because because you're gonna have all type of lights, all type of fireworks, all type of uh, uh, bodies, all type of people getting caught up in these missiles, laser beams, martial law, just natural death by animals and other people. 
going to be such a great and horrible. It's going to be. We always say it's going to be a great day because we're talking on the side of being saved. Yeah. That's why we're on the we're on the on the on the on the right side of the fence, looking at being saved. So for us, hey, on top of that, we hate this kingdom, man. We, we're, not, we're not ruling in this kingdom. Yeah. We're broke. We're bums in this kingdom. So who? So you know, to hell with this place. Especially when we know a place. After this place is coming and it's going to be way better. That's when we live it up ten times as better as as the people. We li the the least of Israel in the new kingdom will live ten times, ten to a hundred times better than the best in, in in this kingdom. That's right, and it's just life, no death. Yo, it's a place that you can't even fathom, man. It literally, because like you, I remember you said that. Imagine tasting food without any chemicals. You can't imagine that because all we ever been eating is chemicals, bro. That's right. Yeah. You know, it's, that's why this thing is it is. Uh, that's why I understand that you. That's why I understand faith is a gift, man. Okay? The more God really has to give you faith to actually see these things that the Bible will speak about, man. Yeah. You know. To actually see them, be like, yo, I understand that. Yo, I believe in that. Yeah. That's a gift. That's crazy, man. You know, seeing colors that seeing colors that you've never seen. Well, what about when you're talking about these different stones yeah. in the ground that have still haven't even been brought up yet? Yeah, which you know these stones actually give out a certain vibration. You know, you know. So in the kingdom, you know what? If we were to build a building with with a certain stone, it and give out that, that, that stone you know, vibration. That's so ooh. sick, man. Cause yo, we ain't gonna fucking concrete. It's gonna be cold, bro. Yeah, and on top, that's another thing, man. You're not supposed to have concrete, man. That shit actually, if you go into if you go into studies about concrete, it, it fucks up all your cartilage, yeah, your man. back, mm -hmm. your knee. That's why by the time you're in your 40s, your 50s, sometimes even in your 20s, yeah. 30s, you have knee back problems. That's why, like, and you know that instinctively. I know people know that instinctively because. Anybody that's a basketball player knows at a certain age you stop playing ball outside there it goes. for a reason. You know what I'm saying? You, you don't play ball in the cement anymore because after you've been playing on the hardwood for so long, you don't play ball in the cement anymore. You know you can hurt yourself easily on that stuff. Yeah. Running up and down in cement. That's why your feet were, were constantly swaying because feet are aching on the cement. So there's going to be no cement in the kingdom. You're going to be walking on earth. It's gonna be the stones of the earth, man. Then it says, For then shall be great tribulation, gruesome, right? Such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be, and except those days shall be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved, but for their life's sake, those days shall be shortened. Exactly, that's the point. Except those days be shortened. Uh, read that again, sir. And it says, and except those days be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. No flesh, man. Not even, not even Esau's own, not even Esau himself. That's the animals, everything. Everything. Everything would be done away with his period. That's a poncho, right? What's no. that? Oh, okay, it looks like a poncho. I was like, it's uh, familiar. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, Anyways, um, that's, that's, that's the point, because you leave East, if, if the most high, uh, uh, kept uh, uh, these so-called white people in, in religion for another 50 plus years. Heck, not even. It probably take them 20 years, 15, uh, 10 to 15 years just to wipe out everything. You know, we're already, we're already at, uh, at, at such a low point, or such a uh, yeah, a low point in this kingdom that literally everything you eat kills you, gives you some kind of cancer. Like I was, I man, I just finished watching. What the hell? Like literally, what the hell? Like three times. Yo, I watched the whole thing like three times. Yo, over. It's that is, I, and one, that's man. the same guy with um, yeah. the same. That's the same guy that was with the 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 cow conspiracy. Yeah. Beat. The same guy. That guy might be a jink. Yeah. All the research he's doing. Yeah, it is, it is. But even as Esau telling on Esau. But that video, the what the health, yo, you brothers, you gotta take, check that out. I cut up all the dairy out of my food. That's, diet, yo, bro. the, the, the milk? milk, eggs, I thought that the processed milk was meats. Yo, I don't eat, I mean, I, I, cook, well, I don't drink milk anymore. Yeah. In the morning, I don't eat cereal. All I uh, eat is, uh, I eat yo, uh, a handful of grapes and peas. That's all good? I eat. Right? Literally, I'll go, I'll pack a, a bucket and then a little mini bucket, I'll, I'll pack a handful of grapes and yeah. peas. Yeah. Because, 
man, this kingdom, you're already down to where everything you eat and drink it's kills you. Either gives you a form of cancer, yeah. some kind of illness, yeah. you know, makes some kind of, uh, 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 degenerate some kind of bone or muscle. Yeah, because you know, like, even, you know, like, in that, in that documentary, What the Health, on Netflix, it said that, you know, basically, you know, I'm uh, eating, you know, eating, you know, I'm a processed meat. You know, as a child, it's equivalent to you smoking for ten years, for example, right? Well, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a class one carcinogen, which is included with petroleum, yeah, uh, 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 asbestos, which all give you cancer. Because carcinogen is, is is a category for cancer. Carcinogen just means products that give you cancer. Class one being the worst. Yeah. So guess what's up there? Smoking and shit, bro. Oh my so you're telling me dairy meat? And red, they said, he said red meat, so beef, dairy, uh, uh, not dairy meat, red meat, poultry, which is uh, chicken and turkey. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Even when they went into the fish with all the mercury inside yeah. and, and the antibiotics it's in the fish. Fucked. And yo, that's why, you know. This place is, this kingdom gotta go. Gotta go. How much I gotta come here, man? Because when you watch it, I watched that video, man, I was like, when is the Lord coming? Okay. Because. Yeah. Like, like this whole time you thought you were eating. They said for every, uh, I think for 70 grams of, uh, of uh, I don't know if it's 70 or 170, but for every, for, for 100, for 70 to 170 grams of, of, uh, of uh, poultry, of uh, not poultry, but uh, not dairy, but uh, processed meat. Processed meat, yeah. Eating that once a day is the equivalent, uh, or it's uh, not the equivalent, but increases your chances of getting cancer by 50%. Yeah, yeah. Just for one yeah, meal in sure. one day, 50% yeah. chance of eating, of getting cancer. Yeah. Of a form of some kind of cancer. Yeah, and then, you know, they also said in that video That's insane, that, you know, That's usually... You know how much processed meat? Yeah, you, you know, know how much processed meat I've eaten? You're not now, not now, later. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, now, no, yeah. Yeah, 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 so basically, you know, like, yo, so basically, like, you know, I'm a, so, so basically, like, you know, I'm a, what, what they were saying is that, you know, uh, like, you know, how, like, you know, for example, right, like, when you eat McDonald's, yeah, over yeah. time, it does kill you, but, you know, with you actually eating, you know, that shit, right, right away, yeah, yeah, that you. was, his, you were saying, the it's starting to tighten up. Exactly. Yeah. Because, because they were talking about the cause of diabetes and how diabetes is really caused through fat. Yeah. When you eat so much fattening food, yeah. you put you put uh, uh, like a cluster of fat on top of your blood muscles yeah. or your blood cells. Yeah. So no insulin, which is natural sugar that you get, or insulin is the mediator between natural sugar to change it into energy. Yeah. That's why you can eat you eat uh, shit and you feel empty. It's like I didn't get any energy out of that. It's because it's empty food. Yeah. yeah. You know? And that's how you get diabetes. Uh, I got an example that in the book of Daniel. It says, Then oh, said that. Oh, but just, that is just one category of how Esau is just wiped, uh, completely wiped out this, this kingdom by the way of food. Yeah. We haven't even gotten into uh, 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 taxing. The buildings, you know, everything else. That's right. TV, the technology. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and it says right here, in the book of Daniel, chapter chapter one, verse eleven. Then said Daniel to Malzar, whom whom the princes of the eunuchs had set over Daniel, Hanahiah, Mishael, Azariah. Prove thy servant, I beseech thee, ten days, and let them give us calls to meet. To Salake. Um, <laughs> prove thy servant, I beseech thee, ten days, and let them give us calls to eat and water to drink. Then let our countenance be looked upon before thee, and the countenance of the children that eat of the portion of the king's meat. And as thou see, seest, Deal with that servant. Yeah, because Daniel had struck a deal with the, with the guard there, and the guards, and they were bringing them, they were bringing them shitty food, man. They were bringing them pork and all this, and all this uh, 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 unlawful food, and expecting to eat that and then go do the full days of work. 
And David, uh, not David, Daniel strike to deal with the guard and say, well, you know what, give us, let us eat what we're supposed to be according to the law, like our fruits, vegetables, and such. Yeah. And, 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 and keep feeding your, 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 your warriors the same meat and look upon our countenance in 10 see, days and see, see, see better, yeah. exactly, see who's more full of life and energy and healthier. Okay. So, and it says, so then he consented to them in this matter and proved them 10 days. And at the end of the 10, of the 10 days, their countenance appeared fairer and fatter in flesh than all the children which did eat the portion of the king's meat. See? And the king's meat was pork and all, and all these uh, uh, unlawful foods, unlawful meats. Just like in today's day that we eat, man. The cheapest thing, I know, every time, every time, man, every time, every time I see that woman giving a person, or whatever that is, every time I give a person. But, uh, like I was saying, uh, uh, I forgot what I was saying, anyways, maybe you're Come on. And it says, Then Malzar took away the portion of their meat and the wine that they should drink and gave them pulse. That's right. No. So you know what? Even uh, your, diet, your dietary plan is also something that's important when you're in this truth. Right? Yeah, exactly. Right. Is that it on that? Yeah. Okay, so with that, we're going to close up. I'm going to say, Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Atkins pushing his word, or the elect pushing his word and truth to the Syrian across the four corners of the earth, and destined destruction to his wicked kingdom. Shalom. Shalom.